You know, I just realized the most important thing about this reunion is Rob's ridiculous fold up, Bob. That's why we know she going, because the second you got that fold up, Claudia Jordan, they're going to send you on your way. So we open with Ink thinking Jeremiah is still his son, and the way Ashley said, still, still, clearly still. I mean, the look of shock and horror on Ashley's face, you'd have thought she didn't get pregnant by her millionaire. There's some cheat tay tay in your background, Ashley. You look real scared. Don't want your man to be thinking about paternity tests, because, girl, you know then you and them kids would be on the street. Well, no, they'd be in the tent with your mother under a bridge. I don't know why you haven't done an ad for Georgia Tent and Awning yet and get that woman some housing. So then Karen comes in with this owl as care do and says, look, kids are off limits. The baby's going to watch this, so I'm shutting up. I find Rob Dixon's face so interesting here when Mia's telling her, oh, yeah, I told you I filed for divorce. It was on camera. You're the paywall puss. Mia says, I'm not leaving my coot because he's coinless. It just so happens that Ink came along. Because you, are, well, it's not really a surprise he came along because you always thought you'd end up with him even though you married someone else, which is odd to me. I'm going to marry who I think I'm going to end up with. Isn't that the whole point of merge? Mia got her inheritance from some grandparents that all clocked out at the same time. I've heard of that happening. And then when she got with him, she realized he was functionally bankrupt. That's when you should have left your coot when you found out he was coinless. Cut and run. Then the way she said, fortunately for me, I was able to get my hands on some cash. That don't sound like they left me the money. That sounds like I got in there and rummaged through, did what I needed to do. <laughs> Who got cut out because of you? So then we get the information about how her husband called all the other husbands and bashed her. And then she said, I realized Candace and Wendy ain't my friends, but you assaulted Wendy. So why do you think she would call you when something's going wrong in your marriage when your husband's telling your business? I think even if either one of them called, you would consider it insincere and you would say they would try to pour salt in the wound. It's amazing how Rob is in a black dress, but yet it's not slimming. Yet it's not slimming. Oh God, we're talking about Giselle. Sharice isn't here. What a joy. But Giselle... Nobody cares about you and your hired extra boyfriend. It's giving Kenya more. And Kenya did it better. But she gonna say, I don't care what he does beyond my eyeballs. Well, you could have stayed with Jamal if you wouldn't mind the Tay Tay. So then we get into her fight with Wendy. And Wendy points out, look, you made fun of my mother. I didn't comment on your father. But you did call her evil while she was in the hospital. Just because you didn't know she was in the hospital didn't mean you still called her evil. Giselle, you want to act like because you didn't know she was in the hospital, it's still okay to call her evil. It's not. Then we get into Facegate. And Andy says, should Karen have taken a stronger stance? And she said, I ain't the mama. I ain't responsible. So Giselle saying, Wendy never congratulated her. Wendy saying, I did. And Candace remembers it, but they ain't got the tape. Girl, that Giselle section gave nothing. Nothing. Her fights this season were completely dry, dehydrated, jerked. No, jerkied, jerkied. And she's very jerky. The line is always moving. She spills a little tea on Drew Sedora. I wanted to hear more about her bad business. Or maybe that will be a plot line on Housewives of Atlanta. Girl, would Candace move to Housewives of Atlanta? I could see it. Oh, goodness. Giselle said no one supported Candace more in the entire group than when it went down with Monique. We all know that was just you trying to get Monique off the show with your colorist tendencies and crappy ways. So Robin was really uncomfortable with the colorism conversation. And Candace apologizes for that. So Candace is still apologizing, even though she was just pointing out, hey, this is how I feel you're treating me. I have to agree with Candace. I don't think that this entire cast has the range to talk about colorism. And Andy, you, you don't either. You don't either. I don't think we need Ray at these reunions anymore. He'd be sitting there looking too confused. So now they're bringing the husbands out and Juan's catching strays left and right. Where's Juan? Where's Juan? 
at the nail salon with his mistress, Tris. Oh, uh, Rob the Throb, I can't believe you're the one that wants to pipe up about supposed screenshots from a recanted story by a huzzy when we've got pictures of your man getting his mistress's nails done and he won't even bring you Chick-fil-A. Here we have an example of a man standing up with his woman, and what are you doing? <laughs> Being jealous. She was pressing the issue, too. But we end the episode like the Sopranos. We just cut to black when G was going to give us some announcement. Well, I guess the next part of the reunion is going to be very Mia and G heavy, since it can't be heavy with Juan and Robin because Juan hasn't shown up for her. Juan disappeared on her like Tang. When was the last time you've seen Tang? Let's talk for the next three minutes about how Juan has disappeared on Rob the Throb. Dixon disappeared on her like the last star in the morning sky, like a father getting milk. Juan disappeared on Rob like a stolen wallet. Juan disappeared on Rob like a good black TV show. Rob disappeared on Juan like your childhood innocence. Juan ran out on Rob like gas station pantyhose. Juan left Robin like a fire drill, neat and orderly. Juan left Robin like a thief in the night. Juan left Robin like an early bus. Juan left Robin like a cruise ship. <laughs> Juan left Robin like a snake shedding skin. Juan left Robin like kids leave school. Juan left Robin like you leave work. Juan left Rob like the leaves on a tree. Juan left Rob like water leaving a dam. Like Ford left Detroit. Juan left Rob like McDonald's left the dollar menu. Juan left Rob like Sears left Roebuck. Juan left Rob like OJ left LA. Juan left Rob like left, left, right. Rob left Juan like a bird takes flight. Juan left Rob with a cap in hand. Will Rob ever find a new man? Juan left Rob like dirty dishwaters left on the floors of Candy and the Gang. Juan left Rob like Bravo left Candy and the Gang. Juan left Robin like Erica left, like Erica left Tom. Juan left Robin with just the skin of her palm. I mean, is there anything right about a man that can leave you like that? Juan leaves Rob in every shape, form, and fashion to go out, do his dirt, and his ass. Juan left Rob like a track on the train, just there, on the ground. <laughs> Juan left Rob like his other family is more important. Juan left Rob like an opportunity, like a missed opportunity. Juan left Rob like a summer breeze. Juan left Rob like you leave a toilet flushing quickly and slamming down the lid. Juan left Rob like this ain't my kid. Juan left Rob like a fool all alone, especially because Rob pays for Juan's home.